Hi, welcome to this tutorial on implicit differentiation where we've got to find dy dx for this implicit equation here. Now the point about this tutorial is I want to show you how to differentiate in particular this second term here. You'll notice we've got a mixture of x's and y's. What we're going to need to use is the product rule. OK, so let's just start then. Remember when you've got to differentiate with respect to x, it's a good idea just to put differentiate with respect to x at the start. So if we differentiate the first term with respect to x, it's just going to be simply 5. So we've got 5. Now when we come into the second term, we've got to put that minus down and then use the product rule. So I'm going to put a square bracket here. I'd always recommend that you do that. Now when you're using the product rule we've got two parts being multiplied together. In this case we've got 3x squared which is a function of x and we've got this function of y, y to the power 4. Two functions being multiplied together. So when we use the product rule we take one of the functions and multiply it by the differential of the other function and then plus and then we do it the other way around. So I'll just show you. So we start off with say 3x squared and we multiply it by the differential of y to the power 4. Now we need to differentiate this with respect to x so we get around that by differentiating with respect to y so that becomes 4y cubed but don't forget to put dy dx on the end. That's what I showed you in the first tutorial on implicit differentiation. Now because we're using the product rule well, we have a plus and now we differentiate the 3x squared which is going to be 6x with respect to x, that's 6x, and now we just put the other term on the end here so that's y to the power 4. OK, so we've got that. That's done by the product rule then. Equals, now we differentiate 2y with respect to x. So we differentiate it with respect to y and get 2. But don't forget to put dy dx on the end. Next term, differentiate minus x cubed. We get minus 3x squared. And then differentiating 1 with respect to x, well that's going to be 0. OK, so in the usual way what we need to do is aim to get dy dx the subject. So we need to expand this bracket out. So we'll just do that. And we have 5 minus, and this is going to come to 12x squared y cubed, and then dy dx. And then we've got minus over this plus, which is going to be minus. And then we've got 6xy to the 4, 6xy to the 4 equals 2 dy dx minus 3x squared. All right. Now I'm going to bring the dy dx terms to the same side so I can see that the best side to take the dy dx terms to is the right hand side. So I'm going to add this to both sides and I'm going to add 3x squared to both sides. So if we rearrange what we're going to have is 5 minus 6xy to the 4 for that second term. Now we add the 3x squared, so 3x squared equals, got the 2 dy dx there, and now we're going to add this term as well to both sides, so plus 12x squared y cubed dy dx. Next, what I'm going to do is look to this side, see if there's any common factors, but in this example there aren't. So that would be 5 minus 6xy to the 4 plus 3x squared. But on this side we've got dy dx, which is a common factor, and you'll also see we've got 2, which is a common factor. So I'll pull the 2 out the front and would have 1 plus 6x squared y cubed. But don't forget to put the dy dx, the preferred position, is at the rear of the bracket. Now, all that's left to do to make dy dx the subject 
is just to divide both sides by two lots of 1 plus 6x squared y cubed. So that's going to give 5 minus 6x y to the 4 plus 3x squared all divided by 2 bracket 1 plus 6x squared y cubed. Alright? Well, as I said, the purpose of this example was just to demonstrate the product rule. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just put that in there for you. Okay, that that part there was using the product rule. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.